Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Brother Muhammad Nagi. On the 19th of January, I got diagnosed with leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer. Alhamdulillah. Allah, subhanAllah, I got a bit of a rash on my feet. I seen it spread a bit. Um, started sweating like a fever. I went to the six GPs and they told me it's a fever. One of them said it's a um, reaction of the allergies. I felt tired. I didn't. I stopped working the last eight days. I can't work anymore. I got a very, very sharp pain in my stomach once we were moving houses and then at Fajr time the pain got too severe so I admitted myself into the hospital and I done a blood test and it came back that my red cells are dead and my white cells are up and the doctor goes we'll have to escort you straight away to Liverpool Hospital I, I was confused because I don't know what red cells and white cells are whatever now, what's that mean you guys we think you are cancer I arrived at hospital I done the first lot 27 days and then I got out for four or five days, I got sick, I went back in for a week. I got out for 10 days, I went back in for a week. And then I got out for about 12 days, then they called me back in, he goes to me, um, the professor goes, come back in. I wanted to give you one more strong dose of chemo before we do your blood transplant. I went in, I go, how long you guys, five days? I ended up staying 23 days, so I've done 65 days in total. Vomiting, yellow, a lot of diarrhea, mm, always tired, and aching, a lot, a lot of aches, and 24/7 my hands and all my feet to my ankles, pins and needles, 24/7 numb. I refuse. Why? An appetite, because the professor told me. The last thing that recovers from chemo is your stomach. And if, like, in 13 days I had six spoons of food. And even today when I was at step down, we call it step down, we get checked out Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. I had a bit of toast, like just a little bit so I can take my medication. And over there I threw up everything. So they gave me three foot injections for this. It's called the peak line. That's where they give you all your medicine. It goes into here. All the way through my big vein straight to my heart. It's about, give and take, about 60 centimeters long. And they're going to be taking that out and putting three new ones here, all the way down. Because on the 13th of May, inshallah, is my big day. After, I'll get admitted on Monday, the 2nd of May, back into hospital for another month. But if I get infections and end up in intensive care, well, I don't have a problem. The Wednesday, inshallah, Thursday, then rest for two days, then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, radiation, and then rest for four days, and then they put my brother's blood in me, inshallah. Well, it was. <laughs> Mr. Moss, brothers, <laughs> don't take this Nahma of health is given you for granted. Wallahi, we don't feel bad. But mentally, in the hospital, kills you. Can't walk, can't shower. <laughs> I 
Ale samotné. Hmm. Dobre. 